Have you ever felt that you are not as good as those around you? On this episode of A Healthy Dose, I'm going to reveal the eight signs that indicate that you might be struggling with an inferiority complex. Have you ever found yourself constantly doubting your abilities and feeling like you just don't measure up? It's a common human experience, but when this self-doubt becomes a pervasive and overwhelming part of your daily life, it might be indicative of something known as inferiority complex. Coined by the psychologist Alfred Adler in 1907, this concept describes a deep-seated sense of inadequacy and insecurity that can lead to a range of behaviors from withdrawing in social situations due to fear and shyness to overcompensating with excessive competitiveness and aggression. But what exactly is this inferiority complex all about? Essentially, it's a belief deeply ingrained that you are fundamentally not as good as others around you. You constantly compare yourself to those you perceive as better and feel incapable of achieving success or happiness. These feelings can be rooted in reality, where you genuinely believe you fall short or they can be entirely imagined, driven by harsh inner critic, left unaddressed. They can snowball into even deeper feelings of inadequacy and contribute to various emotional and psychological symptoms. While the term inferiority complex may not be an officially recognized diagnosis within the field of mental health, many professionals acknowledge it as a significant source of distress. Some clinicians prefer to use the term chronic low self-esteem. Instead, to describe this persistent and negative self-image, it's important to understand that it's not just your garden variety self-doubt. It's a continuous, nagging feeling of not being good enough. So, let's dive deeper into eight signs that might suggest you or someone you know is grappling with an inferiority complex. Sign number one, feeling insecure, incomplete, or unworthy. While occasional self-doubt is part of the human experience, an inferiority complex takes it to another level. You feel insecure, incomplete, or unworthy most of the time, regardless of your circumstances or achievements. It's as if, no matter what you do, it never feels like enough. Sign number two, loneliness and avoidance of social situations. Research has shown that low self-esteem can lead to feelings of loneliness, and it can work the other way around as well. If you struggle with low self-esteem, you may find yourself avoiding social gatherings to shield yourself from potential criticism or judgment. Being around others might make you feel uncomfortable, and you may believe that you won't measure up to your peers, leading to social isolation. Sign number three, constantly comparing yourself with others. In the age of social media, it's almost impossible not to compare yourself to others regularly. However, if you find that you are continuously comparing yourself to others and always feeling like you fall short, it could be a sign of an inferiority complex. You may even resort to criticizing others to make yourself feel better. Sign number four, excessive self-deprecating humor. Self-deprecating humor is a common way people cope with their insecurities. However, someone with an inferiority complex may engage in self-deprecating humor excessively or make negative comments about themselves as a way to deflect potential criticism or preemptively acknowledge their perceived shortcomings. Striking a balance between humor and self-esteem can be challenging, but excessive self-defeating humor is generally not a positive sign. Sign number five, difficult accepting compliments. Accepting compliments or positive feedback can be a challenge for people with low self-esteem. They might dismiss these comments as insecure or attribute them to external factors rather than recognizing their own worth. This can manifest in different ways from outright rejecting compliments to privately feeling like imposters. Sign number six, insomnia. It's not entirely clear why, but an inferiority complex 
might contribute to sleep problems. Research among university students has shown that low self-esteem is associated with higher levels of insomnia. While insomnia is a complex issue with various contributing factors, if you are struggling with sleep, it might be worth exploring and strengthening your self-esteem as a potential solution. Sign number seven, superiority complex. Interestingly, even though they appear to be opposing disorders, an inferiority complex and a superiority complex can often overlap and coexist. A superiority complex involves having an exaggerated opinion of your abilities and accomplishments. People with this complex may boast about themselves and overstate their achievements. In Alfred Adler's theory, these two complexes are related with a superiority complex acting as a way to escape from and overcompensate for feelings of inadequacy. Sign number eight, perfectionism. While striving for excellence is generally seen as ambition and drive, it can also be a maladaptive trait stemming from feelings of inferiority. Perfectionism, defined as the tendency to demand of others or of oneself an extremely high or even flawless level of performance in excess of what is required by the situation, can take various forms. A study published in BMC Psychology in 2022 found that lower self-esteem is associated with levels of perfectionism that cause distress and make it difficult to complete tasks or reach goals due to a fear of failure. If you find that your perfectionism is paralyzing, working on improving your self-esteem could help you shift towards behavior that propels you forward. So in conclusion, while the term inferiority complex may not be in the formal diagnostic handbook, recognizing these signs is the first step towards addressing the issue and working on building a healthier self-image. Remember, you don't have to go through this journey alone. Seeking support from a mental health professional can be a valuable step toward a more positive self-perception and greater emotional well-being. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Watch more videos by clicking on the video here.